What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Seth the Line Surgeon. And I'm just finished cutting the yard. Decided to answer another question. Um, a little lawn care tips series. So if you have any questions, um, send it out to me. Uh, comment it. Message it. It's better if you message it on Facebook because that way I can organize it better, but I remember it. <laughs> but, uh, hold on. This question is about security. You gotta ask me, um, he says, Seth, um, sometimes I got a couple yards out in little sketchy areas. What do you do about security? I'm always scared my stuff is gonna get stolen. I think I spend most of my time watching my trailer instead of concentrating on cutting the grass. <laughs> and so, yeah, you gotta keep your eye on your stuff. And, um, you know, the best thing to do is lock it. A lot of times, you don't feel like locking it. A lot of times, I don't lock my stuff. Unless I'm in a super sketchy area. But, it's best to just do the extra step. Uh, you know, I would rather have to pull out my keys and unlock my stuff versus forking out an extra three or four hundred dollars for a new piece of equipment you know what i mean so it's worth the extra step i used to have the astro van so um i used to put all my stuff in the back of my trailer if i was in the sketch in the back of my van if i was in a sketchy area you know my blow always was back there but i might take my trimmer off the rack and put it back there or i just lock it you know or anything that's loose that I don't want to have stolen, I keep it on there. Um, same thing with my truck. I got the back of my truck. I just put it in there, lock it. Um, <clears throat> that's the same reason. I don't know if y'all noticed, but I don't got trimmer line mounted. You know what I mean? I see a lot of people with all this stuff mounted on their trailers. <laughs> and, you know, trimmer line, cooler, all this stuff. You know, all the racks. You know, they got racks on racks on racks. But uh, I don't got none of that. Only thing I got on my trailer is trimmer racks. And I'm about to have a spare tire rack, but that'll be it. And the reason, because, you know, I don't want all my stuff out there. Even if you, some people, I think they got trimmer line locks or whatever, so whatever, whatever. Somebody could just come, so you can't take the whole spool off, but somebody could just come by and take like, you know, 50 feet of line, choo, 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 snip it off, and they out. So that's my fear, man. I said that, that line is too expensive for me to have somebody pull it off like that. Um, but yeah, you know, in order to prevent thieves from stealing your stuff, you just gotta think like thieves, you know what I mean? Thieves don't wanna spend a lot of time stealing stuff. They just wanna grab it and go, grab it and go, cause you know, they're not men. You know what I mean? Somebody who is still, a man that was still from another man that's actually out here working, is not a man. You know, thieves have teeny tiny little balls. Little balls. <laughs> you know, you, they have to, you know. So, like I said, they don't want to waste time. So, if you just leave your trimmer or blower in the back of your truck without locking it up or anything, that's like putting a... a putting it on a dinner plate for a thief, you know what I mean? He's like, oh, easy money. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do something to make it difficult. Tie it down, even if it's with a rope. You get what I'm saying? If you gotta lay it in the back of your truck, grab a rope, tie it to hooks. And now, when they go to yank it, boom. Now they gotta sit there and figure out how to get the knot out. That way, they're not gonna sit there and waste time doing that. You get what I'm saying? Same thing, if it's on a rack, sometimes my locks can fill off my rack. So, I don't have nothing. Get some zip ties, put it up there. That way when they come to try to grab it off, it's zip tied to the rack, you know what I mean? Until you can get out to get another lock. Just do stuff like that to make it more difficult. One more thing that I, I've done is use your mower, your big mower, to block stuff. So people could, you know, I've never really heard nobody stealing a push mower, but you, you, you will push a push mower off if you want to try to steal it. So what I always do, especially like when I go out to eat, when I stop to eat, I always have my gravy in the back and I take the key out. That's another thing. Oh, if you go leave a mower, I'll just take the key out. Um, 
But yeah, I take the key out while it's on the trailer. So now if somebody wants to be bold enough to drop the trailer get the gate and try to get my mowers off, which they probably won't because thieves have teeny tiny little balls. Little balls. And so anyway, if they try to do that, they're gonna have to push 1,200 pounds of freaking grape. <laughs> so yeah, you know. And then like one time I had um I was at a house and I didn't feel like putting my time master back onto my uh, my trailer. So I parked it up against the curb and I wedged the uh, the gravely up against the time master, right? <laughs> so now in order for somebody when they come and try to push the time master away, they can't push it away because it's wedged in between the gravy. And unless they're familiar with commercial equipment, which most thieves don't, they're just people out here trying to make an easy dollar with teeny tiny little balls, little balls. And uh, they're not gonna know how to take the break off and whatnot. And even if they did take the break off, it's gonna take them at least 20 seconds to push that bad boy out the way, you know what I mean? And they're not gonna wanna spend that time. Because thieves, you know, they want a, a quick and easy, you know what I mean? And half the time, people stealing stuff probably don't even know what they really stealing, you know what I mean? You might have a $500 trimmer, and then they steal the, the $300 trimmer, you know what I mean? They don't really care, they're just opportunists, you know, and they don't even know what they're stealing, you know? So anyway, I guess the moral of the story is tie it down, lock it down, take the key out, do whatever you gotta do. Take that extra step to make sure you make it difficult for somebody to steal your stuff. And the second moral of the story is that thieves have teeny tiny little balls. Little balls. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and make sure y'all let me know some more questions. Yes, sir.